And there's one I didn't put in here, actually. Uh, I thought I did, but it's not in there. Uh, the ripples. You don't use G plus, though. Especially not now. Well, uh, their API isn't developed enough, but we'll get into that. Uh, okay, uh, we, we, we've been spending the last uh, week or so, and i got to get them all up, uh, talking about... Um, yeah, all right, you have a video here, so I'm looking at the video. Yeah, go, right. go, go ahead and look at that video first, actually. Yeah, it says, Marlo Zoom in the classroom of the 21st century. So we got a guy sliding stuff, San Diego... Oh, wow. I remember, I remember, uh, San Diego County, because I was over at Camp Pendleton. Uh, so how many of these Zooms are in the schools? Are, are they even keeping pace? I don't think they're anywhere near the iPads. Look at all these stands they have. That's interesting. See, mm -hmm. I, I do like this video <laughs> better than the iPads because everybody has correct postures. I saw that there's a yeah, iPad video. This poor, these poor kids are like hunched over that gaze, man. <laughs> I was like, God damn, is that some severe, severe back pain? And it's like, that's why, I mean, tablets are wrong. Ergonomically. Ergonomically. <laughs> All of them have stands and are angled up. That's cool. Uh, okay, I'm getting bored. Basically, what this is about, and this is like the this is the exact same thing I was talking about with the textbooks going through Apple. Only it's the same thing except going through Google. Uh, it's like, like I said, I don't want any company to sign. Basically, this school is this district has gone Zoom. Where's the keyboards? Everything is still... It's still a slate. I want to see where the keyboards are. There aren't any. No, Bluetooth keyboard. Where's the Bluetooth keyboard? There aren't any. Not interesting. Alright, so... Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 this is good for schools, I guess, but you know what? Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, well, if, if you, if damaging, if we are damaging human input. If computers are everything, and we are... Well, okay, that if you watch the video, you'd see they got eight kids to disagree. Uh, it's like, I, I like the Zoom because I don't have to go to the computer, and I don't have to wait on the computer, and it's more accessible, and it, it works better. Like, and, 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 do you like move your finger because I can't see what else is on the card in front of me here? <laughs> no, I, I don't think it was that. What they were getting at, also, uh, the school in question... This is why I stuck this in here. I'm like, oh, you're a Google school. Yes. <laughs> yes, the school went Google. Gmail, Google Docs, uh, and we like the way Android integrates well with these things. And that's like, <laughs> oh my God. Services are powerful. Let's, let's not make a mistake here. Google services, which is the back end part that we say Apple's catching up on, Yeah. that's a service for a lot of school. I mean, I know. It's all, it's about, I mean, homework and all this other crap. I mean, Apple's got to essentially catch up on that kind of things. But, uh, uh, but Apple, like we were discussing before, has a different philosophy of centralized and distributed. Well, yeah, I know, but it's the same thing we're worried. I, I, I'm worried about with the I, with the iBook thing. You know, they're going to become basically you're going to get locked into the i platform. And I, it, honestly, I'm worried about the same thing with with the Google side of things, just it's being done in a different way. And th this is happening across the country. Like this district had become a Google district. They basically turned everything, the school emails, document management, everything over to Google services. Our colleges are doing this too, because I mean, it's a very competitive offering. And you know, it's like that's why they chose to use the Zooms and give the Zooms to all their middle school and high school kids. Cause they're like, it's like it just works. It, it integrates well with it, the Google, 
platform integrates well with the Google service. I'm surprised. Oh, you're kidding me. They do? It's like... Uh, it, 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 it's the same thing, just 180 from a different company in a different way. You know, it, it, it's... Well, you know what? The days of pen, uh, paper and pencil are out the window. Fine, but the, but you better start using the freaking keyboard stuff because I'll be. Dead. Oh no 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 no! They 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 like the fact that they don't have to do it. They they like the yeah, fact. Yeah, it saves a lot of stuff, man. You don't have to carry oh, it. oh, I I I know. And like they're like our kids get to rap and do their mnemonics and you know whatever one they can I make know, up because with. Because they want to sell cool. You know? yeah, it's whatever. Uh, one of the problems with college, uh, or wait, with. Are you saying college or a college? Well, oh, no, no, I, I, I'm laughing at this because um, here's, uh, as somebody who not that long ago was experiencing the joys of our college system, um, it, it, here's the, uh, I, the, I agree with everything they're saying. The pencil is dead. I want, I no, 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 hang on. I agree with everything they're saying. The pencil is dead. The, the sign, you know, it's great to just go all virtual and yada yada. However, if we really raise middle school and high school kids to live in the real world, they're going to be fucked when they get to college. And I say that because year one, year two of college is computers are bad. I'm not kidding. The, the, Who said this, the computers are bad? Uh, pretty, go to any freshman courses. You know, you basically, you, you, if they're doing the standardized English thing, you have to take it on a computer without spell check or grammar check. That's so locked down. Or most, a lot of them are still making you write it out by hand uh, on paper. Uh, I do see that. Yeah, because look, yeah, you know, because they're the convinced if you're the using a computer, you're cheating. <laughs> it's like only cheaters use computers. Computers hey, are for cheaters. I, I cannot spell for, you know very well at all. Uh, and, and you know what? I think that's a point. I, I was like, in school, and well, I was in school. In college, I did type stuff and you spell check like you wouldn't believe. Now, I, I, while my spelling uh, may not be so good, I am very good at grammar and correct use of. Uh, I, 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 my, as anyone has looked at my stuff, has, as anyone has looked at any of the stuff I've written in the channel here, will know my spelling is atrocious. Uh, I actually no because I was like, is he talking about a collage? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, well, I didn't, I didn't, I, 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 I was like, what is he talking about a collage? I, I put this in like thirty minutes before. I haven't had time to go back over it either. Uh, it's, um, it, it, uh, but my overall, my, uh, if I take the time, my rules of grammar are, are actually like ninety. 99 percentile. However, the way I get stuff out is I take advantage of what a computer allows me to do, which is just type out a complete stream of consciousness and go back and dynamically redo it and regroup it and move stuff around, which is something you can't do on a piece of paper. If you ask me to take a written piece of paper test, I flunk it every damn time because this is not the way I write. And this is one of the things I have a problem with. I really do think our college system needs to embrace. You can use whatever damn tool you want be, as long as the tool is available, you know, you know what tool you need, use it. The computer is a tool. There's nothing wrong with using the computer. It, it, it's, uh, but it, it, like I said, and the really funny thing is, you know, once you get to third year, late second year, third year, teachers are like, what the hell are you doing? Use this fucking tool. You know, but it, it's the freshman classes and the, and the second year additional flunk out classes that are all the tools that are available in modern society are bad and only cheaters use them. And it's uh, like, it, it's, uh, those kids, it, this is the same reason when you're in high school and you're writing essays, they won't let you use the internet as a source. It's less because they are concerned about it being uh, unreliable, because the reality is doing fact checking, you can verify whether it was reliable or not. It's because the site method they use that they teach for you to use in that no computer college thing does not have a version to deal with citing a web page which means there isn't a proper way to cite a web page even though you could say I got this from web page so and so yada yada you could give citation you can't do it properly yeah. 
Uh, yeah, and that's like, so they're like, well, is it the proper notation? Is the professor going to like it? And I'm like, that's the stupidest reason I've ever heard to cut out one of the greatest resources that's available to humans today. We haven't figured out how to put it in its box yet. I'm like, really? <laughs> Anyways, that's my rant on the edge of thing. It's comments below for people. It's like, it, it, are, are we as worried about the Googledom trying to take over education as we are the Apple iWorld? Because they really are both making What did I tell you? I, and you were all worried. I said, look, the competitors are going to start rising. Now you're, you're going to have the, the great Amazon. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, no, that's the, that's the thing. I want it to be you can go from one to the other to the other to but the other. But it's not going to be the agnostic thing. Nobody does that anymore. I have a dream <laughs> that there will be an agnostic platform and children will be allowed to learn. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure Lennox can maybe get in there, but people, yeah, well, hey, they could. You could. I, I, would, I would take it away. There could be a whole open source medium. But they better, they better, it, it, it takes money and you need to find a model while keeping it open source which Google tried to do and many things that it just becomes it's not yeah, Google's a walking and contradiction in that you, you, can't, you can't even feed your kids doing it you know so it's like you have to find a way to monetize something and in doing so it creates these locks and boxes like, anyway this is interesting the, the, the Google uh, Google foes fighting social search Ignore one truth. The Google competitors ramp up protests that the search giant favorites its own social content. Well, gee, so? Yeah, yeah, that, that's their thing. You know, as this points out, there's no such thing as truly organic search. Yes, Google favors. No, they don't have a monopoly in search. They are not the monopoly in search. No, no, what they're getting at. Is they're saying Google favors things that Google has additional metrics on to further verify. I wonder why. You know, the same reason Bing favors Facebook likes over Google Pluses and so on and so forth. It, 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 what they're pointing out is that everything has things it tends to favor it. Uh, and, and prefer and trust over others and, and you know the reality is we still don't have the internet that's truly yeah, it's like, and, and it's Google Plus Social and I, I miss the cache don't you? The, the, on Google. Oh it's still there you just have to use the you have to use the advanced operators because uh, it doesn't list anymore on my uh, listing thing so yeah, they're integrating their Google social. You know what they should just do is just you know, it's all these. I'm sorry, you know all the uh, get the hell off these social networks, guys, and go back to using that or some shit like that. You know? And you won't have these problems. Uh, I, 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 well, it, why we're on the social? You, can, you can't say anything because you are on Google. I, I, I'm on Google. I, I, I know. I I've anonymized it as well as you have a Facebook. You're on Twitter. I am not on Facebook, and I, I no, I, I am on Twitter, but, but Twitter has nothing to do with me. I, I post articles and I rant. Okay. I don't have to sign up with my ID and give phone numbers out and all that other shit. I don't give any of that shit to Google. Uh, Every time they ask me for it, I say fuck off. It doesn't matter who already knows everything you want to know about me anyway, because they pay me via YouTube. Oh, what the hell? So uh, I, I, I know. It, 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 but, <laughs> but I won't. I won't put like. What, I mean, what is social to me? I don't want to go. Oh no! It, 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 you know, honestly, it isn't social at all. It, it, honestly, social media is anti-social. I, I'm in front of my computer screen, not interacting with the actual physical world. I'm being very social. It's like. <laughs> And that's why Google Plus invented the mute button, which I make a point to never use, but several people do. Let me back the rest here into my little circle. We have the friends circle and my family circle. You know, what the hell, dude? I guess I'm going to be the only one on the island. 
and you know what? I'm going to be laughing for my when all the social shit bites everybody in the ass. Well, on that note, okay. You, we we were talking about this and the political one, and I as uh, you know you know you know Google Plus is going to allow teens in now, and they've you know the reality is they've been on there since day one, so I don't know why they're like we're going to allow them. They, uh, what? I think there is a legal implication in there. The law. Yeah. Well, but you know this is the thing with the internet. Are you a teen? Well, you gonna allow me if I say yes? Okay, then I'm not. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's the internet today. Um, but uh, w w there's a feature in Google. We talked about sign. You would hate this feature. It's called Ripples. Yeah. And okay. you, you basically, it, uh, it, the, it basically the only saving grace for privacy for Google Plus right now is the API is not developed enough to get get useful access to this data. But that development is coming. So... You know, I, you know what? Uh, uh, wait, so re repeat what Ripples does? Okay, uh, we, we said this in tech, but basically what Ripples does is if an article has been shared, yes. you, 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 wherever you find the article, whether it's the source or whoever reshared it or some, you click the little thing on the top uh, and you click Ripples and it shows you who originated the article, the people who shared it from them, the people who shared it off of them. Oh, and, 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 and it tells you who all these users are. If, if one of them became the source for a new hub, it tells you, it, sets, it separates them out and go, this is the, the sub-hub source. And it, it just gives you all this wonderful information on how all these people are interconnected and sharing and so on. And it also, as I pointed out in Tech Babble, gives any nefarious person all the information they need to go, Wow, we can kill this 10,000 share by taking out three people. <laughs> uh, so, it's... Yeah. It's, it, it will be used for good, it will be used for evil. My, my concerns with Ripple is the only two people who really need access to the Ripple data is the person who originally originated the post and Google for tracking popularity and trend metrics. But they don't need to publish that. So they can publish it to the originator who can track what's my clout, how far did I go. That, that person has relevant calls to have that because that is a useful metric. But I don't think I necessarily as a, oh, let me see how this got to me. It's like, do I really care? You know, do I care about all these people? Oh, I'm going to go through all these people and go, oh, this was the... I, I, you know, actually, I just defeated my own argument because the reality is I would care because I want to know who the hub source is so I can go... Sub if I like this content, so I can go subscribe to the main hub because that's relevant to me. I just prefer when things are written that, that the publisher put their name and... and, and, and What's well, in there? Well, actually, no, I, I didn't defeat myself because you, you see who originally shared the thing. When, when somebody shares something that says, you know, shared this post originally posted by Yadia. So you already have the source. You, you don't need the, the Ripple data to get that. So, yeah, there it is. <laughs>